Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about uh, the mixer in FL Studio. So to open up and close the mixer, you go to this button here, view mixer, uh, like that. You can also press F9 to enable and disable the mixer. Let's move it here a bit. Okay, so here are all of the tracks that we have right now in our mixer. You can also choose different views of the mixer. So let's say you want compact, you can see all of these different uh, different tracks here. There's a lot of them. And um, the mixer is basically where you would send all of your sounds um, and create different effects. You can set volumes, you can pan them. Um, and you can group different things together so they sound like one. You can just put on different effects to it. So let's say you want to compress sounds together or you want to create reverbs, delays, all of the different stuff. EQ, uh, for instance, which is very important to do. Um, and you do that all in the mixer here. So that is why the mixer is very important and what makes your track becomes live, you know. First track here is the master track. So the master track is where all of the sound will output through FL Studio. So all of the sound that you hear from your speakers would come through to the through the master track. So that is basically the the output, the sound output of FL Studio. So all of the tracks combined will output through the master channel. Then we have all of the individual tracks in the mixer here. So what you can do to assign these different tracks to the mixer is to go to the channel rack here and select whatever pattern you, you want to have or if you want to select all of the different instruments in your channel rack then you will see this dialog here that you can set whatever mixer channel you want that sound to be assigned to in the mixer. So let's say I want my uh, other classical acoustic sound here to be set to insert 3, then you will see the insert 3 is now selected here. And you can rename uh, color and icon, so let's say I want this to be uh, named as our instrument in the channel rack, our track here in channel rack. Uh, I can just, I can set a color here as well. So now you can see that this is the track in the mixer and this is the track that is linked to it. So the track in the channel rack, the classical acoustic, is linked to the mixer channel number three here in our mixer. So all of the sounds that comes through the classical acoustic sound here, so let's say that I play this sound, it will output through this mixer channel first, through all of these settings here, and what I mean by the settings here is all of the things that you will set here, which I will go through in a moment here. Uh, and when that is done, it will output through the master channel. And on the master channel, you can also have a set of plugins here as well that will affect all of the tracks in the mixer. So let's take a look at this right hand side of the mixer. As you can see here, we have different slots. So all of the slots here is basically uh, space for you to open up different effect plugins. So let's say that we want this classical acoustic sound to have a compressor. Then you can go to um, here Dynamics and Fruity Compressor, for instance, which is a Fruity Loop built-in compressor plugin. And now I can set the different effects for this compressor to be affecting only this sound or only whatever is outputted through mixer channel 3. You can also combine different effect plugins. So let's say that you want a compressor first, and then you want a delay plugin, for instance. So now you have the compressor and the delay plugins after each other. Then you can also set how much of the effect you want to be outputted through this sound here. So let's say that I only want half of the compression, and the other half would be not compressed sound or not compressed signal. And then you can set the same thing with the delay. You can choose how much you want, or you can choose uh, all of the settings here that all of the signal is coming through these settings, through these plugins. So basically what you do here is to just set how much of the signal you want to be affected off this plugin here. You can also enable and disable each of the plugins here. So it, let's say you want to A and B different settings, you want to try them out. You can listen to your track and uh, disable and enable them. That is very handy to use. Then you have an EQ section here. So you can EQ your sound with this graphical interface here. You can also do it with these meters here, like that. 
and you have different settings here as well so you can set the different uh, x and y angles of this uh, eq like that you can use this eq but what i do most often is to choose an eq from the plugins here and you have a lot of like a very good different eq plugins from fl this one is pretty good but we have another plugin here let's replace that with the paramedic eq2 and this is a very nice uh, it sounds good and uh, it's very transparent so you won't have your sound be affected or colored by this eq so it's very nice to use it's very easy to use as well it, it looks all very similar to fab filter plugins which i like a lot uh, so fruit loops has this built in which is very nice and you can see you have different uh, tonality of the eqs as well here uh, you can see where the sub should be of the eq bass low mid mid high mid and uh, so on and so forth so you can see what you're actually doing here so let's say that you have a sound that have a lot of bass um, but you won't want to get rid of the sub then you know that you should go down around here to get rid of the sub basically resize the mixer window by doing like this and uh, like that and as i showed you before you can choose different um, view settings of the mixer what i use most often is this extra large because i get um, uh, yeah i get a very nice overview of the tracks here i can see the signal coming through and all of these stuff um i'm also going to show you in a moment what all of these settings does and you can also see the different plugins named here in each of the tracks so you necessarily don't have to go to uh, the right hand side but you know it, they are there anyway so uh so you can just take a look at the selected track here but let's say that you're out of focus let's say you're somewhere here you can see that these plugins are set on this track so you don't have to select that track to see the plugins here one thing that i really like to do in the mixer is to go to the view here and set the track inspector on left side that would show the plugins on this side instead and then i don't have to really go to this side but this is how i prefer it get the individual mixer channel track here so first you have the track name here and track number then you have enable and disable you have the panning here then you have the volume meter and volume level. After that, we have track latency, we have arm disk recording, stereo separation, and you can swap left and right channels here. Here you have the amount of stereo separation that you want. You can do it like that. Then we have the names of the plugins here. Then we have enable effect slots, so you can enable or disable. All